Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a coming across a current printer is unavailable. Select another printer error in your Microsoft Excel or virtually any Office Suite product. So it should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu and typing in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best results should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it is very simple. Just go ahead and select the file tab and then export file name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range should be set to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select file and then import. So again, pretty straightforward. And once you've done that, ready to begin. So go ahead and start by double clicking on the H key current user folder. So double click on that. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Same thing for Windows NT. Double click on that. And then finally, there should be a current version folder in here. Double click on that. And now, finally, there should be a Windows folder. So if you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone under up to this point. And you want to just go ahead and right click on the Windows folder here. Select Permissions. Now you want to go ahead and select add, type in everyone, select check names, then select OK. And then in the allow field, you want to check mark versus full control, and then select apply and OK to save that change. Once you're done with that, you would just go ahead and close out of here, restart your computer, and that would be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.